Jordy here for CineCime.net and welcome to Creative Tuesday. Now, first of all, a big thanks to LG for sponsoring us today. They have sent us the LG Gram, which is a super lightweight laptop with a beautiful 17-inch IPS display. So I thought, let's shoot a whiskey commercial. Now, the first thing that I did was look on Storyblocks for a bunch of fire elements that we could play back on the laptop. Now, in the intro sequence, I mostly worked with reflections. Just have the laptop stand on its side. You can see the motion of the fire in the bottle. Now, of course, I didn't work with such reflections in every shot, and I think that would have just been overkill. So, what I also did was simply waving a small LED light around. And this is the Aperture MC, which is actually an RGB light, but we found out that pure white gave the best results and didn't alter the color of the actual whiskey too much. You can also use a flashlight or your phone, just any small light is what you need. Next, I also placed a whiskey bottle on top of the light, giving a very nice glowing effect. And I actually did this more often to light out the bottle without creating weird reflections or shadows. And again, you can tape your phone's flashlight to the bottom as well. And there were a couple of shots where I wanted to rotate the bottle, and since I don't have such a disc, I used a small piece of cloth where I placed the bottle on. And this helped me to glide it better over the table as I was rotating it. And most of the time I would only use this small aperture light or the laptop to light out my scene. The shots that you see right here are only lit using the laptop. That's it. Next up, I placed a glass on the display of the LG Gram. Now be careful if you do that so that you won't make any scratches. Now, what's amazing about the LG Gram is that it has a very high resolution IPS display with vivid but natural colors, which is great for video editing, but also I was able to focus on the display itself without seeing any pixels or aberrations. The display itself has very deep black, so the fire came out great in the next shots. I also found this ring of fire on Storyblocks, which looked amazing. Now, having the camera on a jib, I took a top shot and just held it still. In post-production, I would then add a rotation animation to it. You know, sometimes it's just easier and it also could look better if you do such movements in post. And then came the falling ice cubes. And to protect the laptop, I had a plexiglass over it. This meant that I couldn't use any lights as that plexiglass is super reflective. But that's okay. And now we're coming to the master shot which eventually didn't turn out that amazing. Or let's put it this way, the time spent building this crazy rotation platform just wasn't worth it. But hey, basically I have this wheel on which I attached a plank. In the middle I fixated the glass with some poster buddies. The camera sits on there and of course the LG Gram. Now spinning that whole platform around doesn't do much. But when I pour to whiskey, you can see the bottle spinning around the glass, which is pretty cool. Another very cool shot is where I had some fire sparks on the laptop and the bottle in front of it. Starting off, I focused on the bottle in the reflection, and then I pulled focus to the actual bottle, which turned out to be a pretty cool shot. And then lastly, we had the final shot. Now I wanted to keep everything dark, so we placed an aperture 120D in the back with a Fresnel mount and an orange filter. It sits right behind the bottle so you can't see the fixture. Next, we've got an aperture 300D with a soft box on top of the bottle. Now to avoid ugly reflections from this light, I moved it more to the back. Usually you will see reflections of overhead lights in the neck of the bottle, which you want to avoid. As a final touch, we had the LG Gram sitting on the side, again creating a very nice fire flame animation reflection on the side of the bottle. After we took that shot, we moved out the laptop and let the camera roll. This is our empty shot. Then in post-production, you can place that shot without the laptop on the shot with the laptop. Then draw a mask around that area of where that laptop is at to remove it. It's super simple and it gave an awesome result. And actually this was the only shot where we used so many lights. All the rest was shot using that small aperture light or the LG Gram. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh.
Now, it was really fun to work with the LG Gram because it is just so thin and super lightweight. The battery life is also amazing. They claim it has up to 17 hours. Now take that with a grain of salt. I can get around 8 to 10 hours doing office work. And when you start editing with it, you can get around with 4 hours, which is still pretty impressive. If you're off and on a train, having those 4 hours of battery life could actually be very useful if you like to edit a project. You know, back in the day when I was going to film school, I used to edit as well on the train while traveling. And I had around like an hour of battery life on my MacBook Pro. After that, I had to start doing other stuff, like looking out of the window. Anyways, one last thing about the LG Gram is that it does not have a dedicated graphical card, so it's not ideal for visual effects work, but the latest 10th generation Intel CPU makes up for that. Normal editing in Premiere Pro goes pretty smooth. So for those who travel a lot, definitely a laptop worth checking out. And you can find out more information about the LG Gram in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, I hope that I inspired you today, and if you ever decide to use your own laptop for a product video, then definitely make sure to tag us on Instagram. And as always, stay creative. <laughs> Jenning is always scared whenever I do that. Yeah, I shouldn't be doing that. You know what would be really cool? LG, if you're watching, call your next laptop the feather. Like, if you would drop your laptop, that it will like literally like twirl down like a feather, and not make a dent or something. That would be awesome.